The North Las Vegas police chief says they will learn from their mistakes. This is Alonzo Perez. He is back behind bars tonight. He was able to escape from this tiny detective bureau. He had one wrist cuffed to a table when he was able to break free and no one noticed for 40 minutes. Understand that we are very, very aware that mistakes were made. North Las Vegas Police Chief Alexander Perez had to see it for himself. Chilling video of a suspected killer in handcuffs showing what he's capable of. He torques it to the point using some of his body weight that it snaps the hinges. He takes a chair, puts it up against the wall, climbs up on the chair, knocks out a few ceiling tiles, climbs into the rafters, and exits the building. Alfonso Perez was alone in an interview room Friday when he escaped police custody. No one was watching him from a monitor, even though all of his actions were being recorded. Is someone monitoring Perez from a camera while he was alone in the interview room? We, we did have a video feed, a live feed, but nobody was monitoring. The police chief announcing stricter procedures for how suspects will now be interviewed five days after Perez escaped. We have taken steps to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Perez is accused of killing 31-year-old Mohammed Robinson because he did not open a door for a woman at a fast food restaurant. After five days on the run, Perez was arrested last night at an apartment near Pecos and Charleston. And for the first time, Robinson's sister breathing a sigh of relief. I just burst into tears. Maggie Robinson will now have to face her brother's accused killer in a courtroom. You took him away from his kids, but you're going to pay for it. I promise you that. The police chief said in his 25 years with North Las Vegas police, he's never heard of anyone breaking out of handcuffs. Perez now facing a long list of serious charges. Reporting in North Las Vegas, Kelsey Thomas, News 3.